This is Lionel Messi's reaction when the opposing team nearly scored a game winner in the World Cup final. Just so you know how critical this moment was, here are some reactions by fans. But since he was able to stay calm and composed in that situation, he was also able to stay calm and composed in this one. Rolls it in. Scoring a penalty kick to win the World Cup for his team and his country. Now, contrast that performance with the performance by Nick Kyrgios. He's one of the most talented players in tennis, but he's known for losing control of his emotions. What you're about to see next is all in one match in the Australian Open. When he's playing well, he's shouting, he's running, he's engaging with the fans. But once he struggles, he's yelling at the ref, yelling at himself, and smashing rackets. He went on to lose that game. These contrasting examples is why you must learn to control your emotions during a performance. But how do you do that? Here are three tips on doing so. Tip number one is to have self-respect. When you let a situation determine your emotions, you usually act out of character and regret your actions. This is Alex Zverev after hitting the umpire's chair. It was probably the biggest mistake of my tennis career. It was embarrassing, it still is embarrassing. When you get angry at a bad referee call or your own mistake, you are literally letting one event change your whole emotional state and that disrupts your performance. If you want to perform with consistency, you must maintain control of your emotions no matter the situation. To do this, in addition to respecting yourself, you must respect others. When Nick Kyrgios plays, he represents his family, his friends, the fans, and even his country of Australia. So when he acts out of character, he not only lets himself down, but all those who support him. I feel like I've let so many people down. Now you may not be representing an entire country when you perform, but your actions represent those who support you, no matter how many or how few that may be. And lastly, but arguably most importantly, don't place your identity in a result. Lionel Messi has played long enough to know that one result doesn't define him. Even if he's playing in the World Cup final, the most important game in his sport. He knew he wasn't defined by the game, whether he won or lost. And he knows that because he's lost a World Cup final before and the world didn't end. In fact, he made it back to the World Cup final for a second chance and was able to win that one. And now compare that with how Nick Kyrgios viewed losing a Wimbledon match. You know, you win this tournament and you become a tennis immortal, I feel. If your self-worth and identity is not tied up in one single result, then you'll have a much better time controlling your emotions. But what are some practical ways to control your emotions that you could use in your very next competition. You had a bad call, things going wrong for you, you take a breath and you reseat yourself. Excessive emotion literally hinders the performance of your brain and clouds your judgment. To combat this, breathing is scientifically proven to lower your heart rate and help you relax during stressful situations. Now any type of deep breathing will work, but here's a simple breathing process. Step one, inhale for three or more seconds. Step two, exhale for three or more seconds. And step three, repeat that until you feel centered. Now I hope this helps and you don't get in any fight soon. But if you do, just come back to this video and watch it over and over until you learn your lesson. And like and subscribe while you're at it too.